I expect results. If I don't see them soon, I'll have to recoup my losses elsewhere, which would have unfortunate consequences for you. Anybody who gets mixed up with Cassidyne men is going to live to regret it if she lives. Are you talking about your sister or your wife? There are things about me that are private, that you will never and should never know, and that I don't have to explain. See the ocean? It's called the Caribbean, and it's a lot warmer than the ocean up where we live, let me tell you. Yeah, all right, come on. Now look, you're gonna take a little rest, and as soon as I'm finished with my business, you and I are gonna go for a swim. Hello. Hi. Hi. Your baby's adorable. Thank you. Well, I don't know why I say thank you when you compliment him, but I know he'd say thank you if he could. Um, how old is he? Six months. You speak to him as if he's older. Yeah, like 20. What's his name? Michael. Really? That's my favorite name. Well, yeah, yeah. I bet you said that to all the babies, Maria. <laughs> I see it didn't take you long to make friends. Yeah, you know, it happens a lot when Michael's around. Lenore, Cindy, Maria, meet an old friend from up north. Hi. These girls work in the review and at the casino. You should come see us one night. Yeah, maybe. I'm not, I'm not real big on shows. You know what? I have to use a phone. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll take care of the baby, right? Okay. okay. All right. <clears throat> Is Carly Roberts there? Hey, it's me. You slept the whole way. Was it sunny where you are? Because, you know, if it is, he's gonna need some sunscreen. I know. Is he with you right now? Yeah. What's he doing? <laughs> Relaxing. Carly, he's, he's safe, don't worry. I know. It's hard not to worry. How are things there? Uh, everything's all right. I guess I like it better when you're closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'll call again tomorrow, but don't forget, you've got Bobby. Yeah, right, and if that doesn't work out, you know, I can always call Robin. So have you spoken to her today? No, no, it's, it's not a good idea for me to make too many calls. But I knew you'd want to hear about Michael, and you can hear Michael. Um, but look, I, uh, I have to go. Um, will you promise you're gonna call again tomorrow, though, right? Yes. And you'll tell Michael that his mommy loves him? I tell him every day. Thanks. Jason? What? Just be careful. Always am. Well, all right. Bye. Bye-bye. Everything okay? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's just, uh, it's hard for Carly. She misses Michael, and she hates being locked up. I thought you were on with Robin. No, I told her I couldn't call while I was gone. She understands there's a chance someone could trace it and find you. And Carly doesn't? <sighs> yeah. She knows this is a business trip, and I have to be careful, but she's stuck in there, and she wants to know about Michael. And so, you know... <coughs> hey, have you, uh, have you heard anything from your banker? Yeah, six months ago, Carl's borrowed a hell of a lot of money. Now I'm putting a trace in the account. When we find out who was Carlos, we'll know who's after you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I 
have so much to tell you, so don't oh, plan good. on moving for the next 15 minutes, at least. I'm all yours. Okay. How was your trip? It was indescribable. Try. Okay, it was the best three days of my life. I'm glad you guys had fun. Yeah. <laughs> Jason told me you saw Sunny. Are you mad at me? No. I know that it was probably really hard for you not to tell me, and I know that you couldn't anyway. Was it awful? No, it wasn't. He told me that he left me because he didn't want me to be killed. And that was it? Yeah, that was pretty much it. No more looking back? No, never. Now that's what I call smart business. In, out, sign the contracts before the other guy has time to think. Yeah, one more round, the whole deal could have blown up in our faces. Which is exactly what I'm telling you about the docks project. They're dragging their feet, Jax. We can't let them keep stringing us along. Hi. Hi. Oh, excuse me, Jerry, but office hours are officially over. Mm -hmm. You look more handsome than ever. Got older. Look, I know that this is a very difficult time for you. And if there's anything at all that I can do to help, please ask. No, thanks. I'm, I'm fine. When did you get back? Just a few days ago. Nicholas. That was the first that I had heard that you had gotten shot. I want you to know that if I had known, that I would have come home immediately. It's okay. I had the best of care. And there are always people around if I needed them. Look, I know why you called. And I'll try to answer any questions that you have the best I can. Well, I was told that you informed Lucky about um, an incident from my past. I told him the truth about his father. Or so you thought. What happened between Luke and me was intensely private, and no one has the right to put a label on it. You're denying that he raped you? You're looking for simple answers, and there aren't any here. Luke and I had an encounter. It was fiercely private. Nicholas, there were many, many layers to, to how we felt about each other, and it, it got messy. But what happened between us could never, ever be encapsulated by the single word rape. You know, I, I've never accused Luke of that. Which means that no one else can. Do you understand that? You're protecting him, yeah. <sighs> if that's how you see it. All right. Uh, I guess my point is here, um, that what happened between Luke and me, whatever you want to call it. It belonged to Luke and me only, all right? And I don't care to explain it or defend it or even discuss it with you. I heard Lucky left home. He's very angry. I don't blame you. I mean, I'm sure that he gave you a reason to attack him. Why do you say that? Because I know my sons. And I know you wouldn't hurt people for the fun of it. You know what he told me? What? He told me that... He told me that my father raped you. And, and that's how I... came about. No, oh... Not true. Nicholas. Nicholas, you are here on this earth because I wanted a child. That's the truth. You were a blessing to me, then and now. Sorry. Are you saying that he didn't rape you? He did not. 
Did he love you? In his own way, he... Do you love him? In my own way, yes. Look, don't try to understand it. After all these years, you know something? I'm not sure I do. What am I supposed to do then, Laura? Huh? Accept it. <laughs> no, listen to me. You hold it inside you. And, and, and go on. I have to go. No, please, I have so things, soon. I have things to do today. Can I see you again? Yeah, yeah. I'll call you. I, I want to see my sister again. Okay, great. We're going to be here. We're here to stay this time. Does my uncle know that? No. Does it matter? I don't know. You tell me. Nicholas, it's Robin. I got your message, and that's fine. Just take your time. I'll probably be here for a while. Okay, bye. Got a minute? Yeah, I got a couple. What's up? I need to find Chase. Fast. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> no, mate, it's a fake. Yeah, it's part of the costume for the nurse's ball. It's my engagement ring. It's a pink sapphire. Well, well, well. Your fiance must have a dollar or two. He makes a living. It's magnificent. And certainly nothing less than you deserve. Aw, thanks, Jerry. See, honey, I told you he's not that bad. Yeah, he is. Jason left town yesterday. I have no way of getting in touch with him. And who's with Michael? He brought Michael with him. Why? Well, where Michael is concerned, there are some people in Port Charles that Jason doesn't particularly trust. I told Jason, Carly, and whoever else would listen. What my family did with Michael was wrong. In my opinion, the baby belongs with his father. Robin, are you sure that you don't know of anyone who might know where Jason is? I don't mean to be pushy, but I really do need to know. I don't. I'm sorry. Carly? I'm sorry, I guess that's a pretty sore subject. Well, not really. I mean, Jason and I are back together. You mean? Yeah, we're closer than ever. And Carly? Everybody's trying to do what's best for Michael. Hey, you guys want to come sit with us? Yeah. Uh, thanks, but I, I've got business. Oh. Good luck. Thank you. Brenda? Bye. AJ, have you ever noticed he always seems like he's looking for something? As a matter of fact, I have. You can't smile any better than that. Doesn't matter. She just wants to see Michael. Who? His mother. Then you're married. No. But he has a girlfriend, Maria, and he's very happy with her. Gracias, senora. De nada. Okay, la cámara. Unless, you know, you... Uh, well, I don't know. No, you know, I just asked him to take a picture of Michael and me so I could send it to Carly so she knows he's okay. If she knows you take good care of him. Yeah. yeah. It's not the same. She wants to see him for herself. You know, the first time anyone took Michael away from me, it was a quarter mate. Emily asked me to bring him over to the house for her birthday so grandmother could hold him. Uh, you know, he was little, maybe a month. So I gave Michael to grandmother. And before I could take him back, Alan grabbed him. He 
The old man, AJ, Dr. Jones, all started telling me. Yeah, I know he's coming up. Nobody knew he was even crazy yet, but he tried to get Michael away from Carly and me before Michael was even born. That night, he and the Quartermains started telling me I couldn't take care of a baby and Michael was better off living with them. I didn't know what to do. You know, I didn't want to grab Michael or yell and frighten him, but someone else was holding him and telling me that I couldn't have him. I was scared. Because I wouldn't have done anything. I wanted him back. Sonny, but it was more than that. It was this feeling, this... I don't, I don't even know how to say it. Sounds to me like you felt like Michael's father. How did you get the baby away from the quartermates? He's threatened to pull a gun. It's not good to have a gun with a, with a child. Yeah, you know I know, that. I don't. I don't anymore. But that night, it helped. It scared the Quartermains enough to make them get Michael back. You see, Carly is afraid that they can take Michael legally. She shot someone. She's in a mental institution. And, and if anything ever happened to me, not, not that it will, right. you know, but she worries about it all the time, so I just try to make it easier for her. That's why I called her, and that's why I'm going to send her the picture. You like her? Carly? Yeah, you know, most of the time, I mean, she lies and does crazy stuff, but she's a good friend. What about Robin? What do you mean? You love her. You know I do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you are in love with one woman and you got a child with another. That's a pretty, pretty crazy situation, Jason. I mean, not just for you, but for the kid. I requested the presence of my attorney. Well, they were all busy. So why don't you have a seat and you and I can start to build a rapport. I want you to take me back to my cell immediately. You know many officers, Mr. Cassidy? None. Ah. Well, then you need to be educated. You see, underneath our tough facades are actually very sensitive people. And when we get rejected, we often take it personally. And then, well, let's just say justice doesn't get served the way it should be. So if you don't want more trouble than you can handle, I suggest you put your good-for-nothing smug royal hiney in that seat now. No. And your threats will be duly reported. Wait here. Why? You don't answer my questions. I don't answer yours. You happened. You poisoned him. You polluted his mind with images of his mother being raped by a man that she married. You come to me about this. Protecting your past is not 
my responsibility. Nicholas is an innocent boy, so is Lucky, and now they're both suffering, and it is because of you. No, Laura, because of you and that cretin you married. I have always wondered why Nicholas was so quick to think the worst of me, and now I finally understand. You know, he saw his mother as a rape victim who fell in love with the man who violated her. How could you do that to him? My God, you weren't there. You don't know what happened. You told me what happened. And I, in turn, told Nicholas to prepare him for the reality that no matter what Luke did to you, you would always remain faithful to him. I never, ever, ever told you that I was raped by Luke. I... I might have said that we had a bad night. Oh, yes. And you were obviously making excuses for him. Well, I made it my business to find out the truth. How? Where? That is my business. Stop it! Stop playing with me! If Nicholas has a realistic picture of you, it will only serve him well. Particularly in light of recent events. What events? Your husband used a letter opener of mine to loosen the railing on the parapet. And then planted it in my desk drawer for the police to find. Okay, so now we're back to this. Why? For what reason? To retaliate. For my telling Nicholas... For my telling Nicholas that he violated you. Do you have proof of this? Not yet. But will you admit that my leaving incriminating evidence in my own desk is a bit out of character for me? As I said, Nicholas needed to be protected. I make no apologies for that. Good. Hey, hey. do you want to join us? Uh, no, that's not the truth. Oh, don't be silly. We weren't talking about anything important. It was to me. Because it's always about you. Don't believe a word they say. Jerry Jacks. Oh, hi. Nicholas Cassidy. Hey, uh, weren't you, at, weren't you at my... Bobby Spencer's guest. Right. Hey, Nicholas. Hi, Brendan. You doing okay? Yeah. We're sorry that we couldn't make it to uh, Catherine's memorial. We were out of town. Yeah, Robin told me. Yeah, our condolences go to you and your family. Thank you, Jack. Would you excuse us? Yeah. Nice to see you. Bye. See you. Hey. I'm sorry, I'm so late, but I... It's okay. I had a phone call before I left, and I had to run out to see someone. Your uncle? No, my mother. Laura's back? She arrived a few days ago. With Lulu? Mm-hmm. She said it's for good. Look, I know that you don't have the best relationship with your mom. But it was clear from her letter that she loves you a lot. I don't know what to believe anymore. Hey, Jim. <clears throat> what are you doing here? Visiting you. That's a nice room. Are you serious? It's one step up from a cell. Did, did I catch you in a bad time? They're all mm. bad times, AJ, in here. Anything else you want to ask me? I'm sorry, Carly. I, I didn't mean to upset you. Well, you did. You know why? Because I know why you're here. And you know what? It's not going to work. Why? Because your grandfather sent you to work me about getting Michael. He knew I was on to him, and he thought you might have a better chance. Actually, Carly, I'm here on my own to offer my support. Really? I heard that uh, Jason and Robin were back together again, and I know that Jason also took Michael out of town, and I realize how hard that is on you. And I know there's nothing I could do, but I, I thought that you would want to know that, that there is someone out there who does care. I may be in an institution, AJ, but I'm not crazy. What's that supposed to mean? You don't care about my feelings. You want something from me. And you're scrambling around trying to figure out the right words to use to get it. It's not true. Okay, you've hated me ever since I drugged you. 
Can we at least be honest about that? I admit, I, I will never forget what you did and what it cost. But, Carly, I've had to ask a lot of people to forgive me, so I guess I can do the same for you. Right. <laughs> yeah, we should go fishing sometime. I didn't say I like you. <laughs> but I... I do feel a legitimate sympathy for what's happening in your life. Well... It's been pretty miserable. It just seems to get worse all the time. I'm sorry. I know what it's like to hit rock bottom. <laughs> and a little bit of a little bit of understanding can go a long way. Oh, by the way, would you happen to know where Jason is? Why? His business. And the unions are pulling a slow down on the dock renovations, and I thought Jason could help. Is that serious, then? No, nothing that we couldn't fix together. Mm. Justice might know. Not according to him. Well, Jason is really pretty secretive about his itinerary. Mm-hmm. Well, if he has Michael, then wouldn't you have to know where he is? Of course I know where he is. You know, just because Robin and Jason are back together doesn't mean I stopped existing. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, Jason and I are closer than we've ever been. Glad to hear it. So then how about a number? Sorry. Why not? Instructions. Carly. Listen to me, this is, this is very important. Now, the strike left a lot of bad feelings, and Jason made a commitment to cooperate. No, I'm sure that that's true and everything, but it's just that he uh, made it very clear he didn't want to be disturbed. Fine. Okay. Then could you call for me? I promised that um, I wouldn't do that for anybody. I understand. Yeah, I do, because, you know, once you start breaking promises, it's, it's very difficult to get people to trust you again, isn't it? So, Carly, can I bring you anything the next time I visit? No, AJ, you don't have to bring me anything. It's just really nice to know that there's somebody out there that cares. Right. Well, it's good to see you. You too. But you were married to Lily. I'm not saying it's the same situation or you should make the same decision I did. But what I'm trying to tell you is when you have a child with someone, that is a lifetime commitment. You know, Bobby came over to the penthouse the other night to see Michael. Right. And she said the exact same thing, that I was going to have to make a choice. Guess I'll figure it out when it happens. But I can't stop being Michael's father any more than I can stop loving Rob. You got yourself in a hell of a mess, Jason. <sighs> Sonny, I don't know what I could have done differently. Except maybe say no when Carly asked if, if she could say I was Michael's father. Well, see, that's the part I don't get. Taking care of Michael, standing by Carly because she's his mother, that all makes sense to me. But letting her lie about you in the first place, it's not like you, Jason. I know, I know, Sonny. I guess I, I, I didn't think it mattered. You didn't, you know, well, you, no, no, you, Carly you... was in a lot of trouble. Robin was in Paris. She was trying to forget about me. Right. Well, what, what difference would it make to her if, if Carly and a baby were living with me? Like, before Carly, all I did was work. That's it. I slept on the couch. I ate in the kitchen. I showered in the downstairs bathroom because it was the easiest for Graciela to clean. Every single day was exactly the same. Right. Maybe work changed. But it was still a day I was never going to see you and Robin again. Now, Carly was just someone else for me to think about. 
You know, and she gave me Michael. I, I love him. You know what? You still haven't said what you thought of my place. It's nice. It's everything I ever wanted. And I don't know if I ever told you this, but when I first started working with Joe Scully, he came down here for a meeting. Not this island, another island. That was nothing, I just one of his guards. But I looked around, you know, I said, this is gonna be mine someday. I'm gonna make so much money, I'm gonna cash out. I'm gonna buy a little white house overlooking the ocean. I'm gonna own a casino. And I'm gonna have the pick of any woman I want. I made it. Except for the woman part. That's my own damn fault. It's a, it's a good life, Jason. I, I'm just trying to figure out uh, when I'm going to start enjoying it. I'm like you were when uh, before you met Carly. I fish. You know why? Because it's, it's the only way that I could really calmly fall asleep. Otherwise, I got to get drunk, and then I dream. And you know what happens when I dream? I'd rather not. You hate it here? No, no, no. Sometimes. Then come back. Okay, I'm gonna go say bye to Robin. Okay. I went over those numbers again this morning. We can't, just a few corners. We can have the complete renovation ready in a couple of months. You know, Jerry, you're really starting to annoy me. Moving quickly will save us millions of dollars. Look, I need you to stay cool, Jerry, okay? Can you do that? Can I count on you? Like an Albanian abacus. Good. I'll check in with you later, okay? You ready? Yeah. Okay. Bye. See ya. Bye. See ya. This is Jerry. No. No, not yet. I understand what you want. A couple of months. Maybe more. Right. Right. Whatever you say. friends. Jackson and Brenda are so cute. Took them a while, but I think they got it right this time. Uh, he seems like a dependable guy. Yeah. If Jax is on your side, you don't need anybody else. What if he is? You better watch out. <laughs> kind of like you. Really? How so? <laughs> well, you're dependable and loyal and strong. No. Oh, I've had good teachers. Right or? Yes. That would be great. Are you sure Jason isn't expecting you anywhere? No, he's, uh, he's kind of busy right now. Oh. Hmm. Brenda is safe, Sonny. She's marrying Jax. No one's gonna use her to get to you anymore. What are you gonna do? 
Jason, you're gonna hand over the whole operation to me and start taking orders again? Yes. No, it doesn't work that way. You have earned your respect, you have earned your position. You cannot get, just give it away, not even to me. Sonny, I don't care about the business. It's a job, okay? It's a job and I love doing it, but I'd rather have you around. I want her back. I want her right. I want her right now. Do you understand what I'm saying? I can't live in the same city with her because then I do what I did before. I know things about Brenda. Jax will never know. I would use that against her because I can't, I can't help myself. Maybe I'd get her back, but maybe I'd break her down. She told me a little bit about what that's like. She tried to cut her face so she would look so ugly that I wouldn't want her. I can't do that to her, Jason. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. That's great. That's fantastic. Yeah, I'll keep in touch. Hallelujah. Trouble? I just found out who borrowed the money from Carlos. Someone you know? Jack's brother, Jerry. Choice of words. Help you, Mr. Spencer? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for Commissioner Bubba. Beg your pardon? Scorpio. He's in a meeting. Oh, uh, wait. This is so typical of you. Catherine had an accident, all right? She was upset with you because she realized that you were Nicholas's father and, and she backed away from you and she fell. Luke had nothing to do with that. He loosened the railing. And you showed Catherine your invitation to our engagement party. She saw what I had written, that I was giving Nicholas the mother he deserved. What Catherine and I had was an honest moment, which is more than she ever got from you, but I never told her about Nicholas. No. You were merely honest enough with her to make sure she would figure it out on her own. Don't you realize? If Catherine put it together, others will too. Stay tuned for scenes from the next General Hospital. Next week on General Hospital. I can get you through this. You have to leave just this one thing alone, okay? Just stay in the night, Ken. This isn't a date, you know. We can make it one. Tried to make Catherine into an imitation of me? Why? What is that about? Monday on Good Morning America. Did you know certain vegetables are a great pain remedy? Whatever aches you, plus fun summer crafts.